and she makes bro tablet. <laughs> Would you please welcome Marie Todd? Oh wow, guys! <laughs> oh boy! They try to tell us that there's no appetite for an independence referendum. <laughs> But look at us, we are huge, we're multitudes. And I know that folk have come from Orkney. Where's Orkney? They've come from Orkney, they've come from Shetland, they've come from Rosshire, they've come from Caithness, they've come from Skye, they've come from Murray, they've come from Inverness. People have come from all over, and I saw our guy in Butte too. People have come from all over the highlands and islands here today. I know that people have come from further afield too, but let me tell you one thing. When you get this number of Highlanders marching for independence, it tells me there's an appetite for it. It tells me we'll get it. When the Highlanders are mobilized, the Union is in trouble. <laughs> Why do we want independence? Well, for me, it's really simple. We will get what we vote for every single time. At this march today, at the start of the march, there was a food bank collection. The local food bank has been short of supplies and they put out a call for help. Why? Why, in a rich country with so many resources, are there people who are hungry because of welfare reform brought in by a party that we did not vote for. Now, of course, I, as an individual, might not get the government I vote for every time. And as a region, we may not get the government we vote for every time. But let me tell you, most countries and most nations all around the world get the government they vote for. It's normal. It's normal in the rest of the world. I'd like it to be normal in Scotland too. We are rich enough. Oh boy. We are rich enough, and we are smart enough. So, let's do it. Thanks, Larry.